In the terrifying world of the future, the youngest inhabitant of the planet, Diego Ricardo, dies in a tragic bar fight at the age of 18 after refusing to sign an autograph. It's 2027, a time when the world is mired in anarchy due to mass infertility. Only when our protagonist, whose identity I will soon reveal, leaves the cafe, immediately there is an explosion. Upon arriving at work, the hero notices female employees mourning the loss of the youngest man who was born in 2009, because since then there has not been a single person on earth. That's why he heads to his boss to finally get a ride home, and while he was on the subway, we learn on TV that the whole world is falling apart and only Great Britain manages to improve. Their main problem is illegal immigrants who try to infiltrate the country, but they are caught, caged, deported from the island and shot. Theo Farron is a former activist and meets his friend who has also been involved in this area, Jasper Palmer. As the men talk, they learn that Theo broke up with his girlfriend Julian years ago and they come to Jasper's country cottage to relax a bit and tend to his paralyzed wife. He meets the next morning in his apartment with no memory of yesterday, but upon leaving his fortress he is immediately kidnapped by masked men. It turns out that the group called the Fishes is fighting the government to equalize the rights of illegal immigrants and one of the leaders is his ex-girlfriend Julian. During the walk it turns out that both have lost their parents, but Julian didn't bring him here for regret. She asks Theo to find transit papers for an unknown girl to be taken to the sea, for which she gives him 5,000 pounds, claiming that he is broke. But the man refuses and is sent back to town, but the van instructs him to contact them if he changes his mind and a few cents for the bus. With the help of his cousin Nigel, who also has family problems of his own, Theo manages to get documents under the pretext that he is dating a girl who would like to visit her brother on the coast. But the permit he gets allows Key to travel only with Theo, and he asks the Pisces for a few thousand more. When they meet Julian, they broach the subject of their son's death but figuring that she leaves the quarrel as usual, it turns out that they have already arrived. On the way, he found out if he had any hope of her returning and she could be said to have consented. They arrived at the car in which he and the girl, named Key, would be driven to the nearest checkpoint, but they would drive themselves from there. On the way Theo decides to sleep, only to be woken up by Julian, who is snoring too loudly, and Julian shows the crew the tricks they used to do with Theo. But an obstacle appears on the road and a crowd of migrants run out of the woods and attack their car and a little later they shoot Julian straight and she is soon killed, and those trying to flee the scene are stopped by the police. Only the driver, Luke, shoots the police to keep their operation a secret. After driving away, the ladies honorably bury Julia and Theo steps aside to grieve, only Luke immediately summons everyone to continue on their way. They arrive at one of the Pisces stops where they decide to stay until the committee convention, which will choose their new leader. Near sunset, after a bath, Theo goes outside for a smoke while the farm owner looks after him, but he is immediately called by Miriam, for Key wants to talk to him in the barn. The girl begins her story by complaining that they cut off two cow's teeth so a machine could milk them, because she thinks it's too cruel not to make a machine that would milk from four teats. But after that, she goes straight to his son Dylan, who Julian told her about. But that was only the beginning, for the girl asked to be taken to the ship tomorrow and revealed the reason for such urgency, she is pregnant. Meanwhile, the evening news tells of the death of the leader of the terrorist group, as well as her accomplices whose identities will take a little longer to uncover, which means they will also recognize Theo. The teams talk about changing the planned dead ends and Theo suggests telling the authorities about the pregnant key, but the team explains to the man that the baby will be taken away and given to a rich black woman, because if the public finds out that the baby was born poor, the government will lose its credibility status. Personally, this seemed pretty realistic to me. In the end, Key decides to have the baby here, but after that she will be sent to where she was promised. In the middle of the night, the community member who brought the wounded partner to camp arrives, on the very motorcycle from which Julia was shot. The man claimed there were police everywhere now, and Luke, furious, promises to cure his partner, but the next time he makes the slightest mistake, he'll kill him. Theo, realizing that Luke is involved in Julia's death, quickly wakes up Key and asks the girl to leave with him, because they need their child. 
They end up pushing the store and make a quick getaway while the intruders chase them. He stops by the road and discovers a secret road that leads to the home of his friend Jasper, who seems to have committed suicide, but it turns out he was just poisoning rats. After meeting a pregnant girl, it turns out that Theo and Key are on their way to a secret group of scientists who call themselves Humanity. And after dinner, Jasper leaves. The next morning Theo discusses with Key that she doesn't know who the father of her baby is, but she wants to name him Frollo, as Jasper immediately appears and tells the plan of how they will get on the ship, they should just let themselves get arrested for carrying weed. And one night Theo overhears Jasper talking about how beautiful Theo and Julia's son was, so he goes to bed, and the next morning begins with a loud alarm, for the fishes have appeared near their entrance. Jasper asks the boys to go on the map he gave Marion, after which they meet the man and call him the fascist pig. Jasper stays behind assuring that he will save himself by talking, but eventually, upon the gang's arrival, they find maps where they learn that Theo is headed to Back Hill and then Jasper is shot and killed. Arriving at the school where they meet the man, Miriam tells them that when she was 31 years old she was working as a midwife and had no new pregnant women coming to her in 7 months, then she called her friends in other states and they had the same thing. Suddenly a car shows up on the street and when Theo calls policeman sit a fascist pig, he is going to beat him up but it turns out to be a joke and they hit the road. Near the bus, Sid asks them to follow them to the monument where Marichka will be waiting to give them lodging, but when Theo and Key drive into Bexhill, Key is in labor, Miriam is arrested when she poses as a religious fanatic to divert the attention of the border guards. And already in Bexhill, in one of the abandoned houses, Key gives birth to a baby girl. The next morning Sid tells them that the fishes have blown up one of the walls of the city and then finds the baby in their apartment and forces him to follow, because his mother has cancer and here is the chance to save her for a good reward. However, Marichka saves them and helps them escape, after which Theo knocks Sid out. Marichka leads them to the home of an elderly woman who happily watches over the child. But when they go out to get the man who will lead them to the boat, they are found by the fishes. Luke takes Key away, then orders him to kill everyone when they turn the corner, but after killing the man, the military immediately shows up and, to the sound of gunfire, Marajika and Theo escape. He notices Key being led into the building, so when the military shoots at him Theo manages to run in. He finds Key on the upper floors and manages to get out with her, but is wounded by Luke. As they are leaving the building, the military hears a baby crying and creates a safe corridor for them, but when another gunfight begins, they quickly escape and meet Marichka, who puts them on a boat in the sewers and sends the planet's saviors straight out to sea. When Theo arrives on the scene, the girl notices how much blood is gushing from his wound, but he asks her to put the baby on her shoulder and lightly pat it to calm him down. Wounded Theo faints from the loss of blood when a Project Humanity ship shows up out of the fog. The fate of the child and key is unknown, however, a child's laughter is heard in the end credits, and the picture ends with an epilogue in Sanskrit that gives you faith in the future.